Hello everyone, today we will talk about Kator and if you don't know what Kator is, Kator is an HTTP client that is built on top of Kotlin but you can also use it to build uh, backend databases so let's jump into Android Studio to see how to implement it before going in the build.gradle I will take a sip of coffee so let's go in the build.gradle.kts in the build.gradle file we need to add the Kotlin core client and the uh, client Android and this is the engine that processes the information from the network we also need to add the content negotiation and uh, Kotlin X JSON and Kotlin X realization JSON because with these two, Kator enables the JSON parsing into classes and the serialization plugin is to use that uh, JSON and convert it into a data class. And this logback classic is to not receive an error from the Kator logging and Make sure that you also have the plugin serialization here enabled and in the build.gradle.kts from the project you need to also add the serialization plugin. Now let's create the HTTP client so we need to initialize it here with on late init let's say client HTTP client because we want to make more functions in the main activity and we need to use the, the client so let's create it here client is equal to HTTP client and inside we need to pass the engine and which is Android and Kator has multiple engines but this is the most appropriate for Android and inside we need to install the content negotiation and this it handles the JSON so let's say content negotiation and pass JSON and with this installed we can easily convert JSON to classes so let's create a class here so let's say data class coffee and this will have a simple name and this will be annotated with serializable and now let's create the first request so let's say suspend fun get coffee and let's say that we want to return a coffee so let's say coffee now let's say vault response is equal to client dot get and let's say HTTP s and put the coffee example and let's say one and for example we are receiving the first coffee and now let's say response body and now we can pass the body type and let's say a nullable coffee and simply return now what if you want to create a coffee for example so let's say suspend fun create coffee let's say we are passing a coffee and let's copy this and simply replace with post and the open the curly brackets here and now we need to set body to that coffee and basically we are passing the coffee through the URL and this will get created in the database if you created something maybe you want to update it so let's say update update coffee and let's put a coffee here and now we can say let's say put and it works the same you can set the body and that's it and for the delete part you need to simply say delete coffee and you simply call delete and that's it now if you want to add some headers to your http requests you can open the curly brackets and say headers and now we need to say append and to get a header we need to say http headers and we can access all of the available headers here for example you have an authorization and here you can pass the token and in order to run some queries we can simply open the URL and say parameters and we are appending some parameters here so this will be the query name for example we are making a query by the name 
and we are passing the value for example is espresso how gemini completed it so that's it and if you like this video make sure to subscribe and make sure to also follow my blog on which i'm posting weekly so see you in the next video